asking about how a person has to know that today we have to work on the mitzvot and acquiring the right state, right state of mind. That way we should be ready for Olam Abba. And he says, when you really look into it, you'll see that the ultimate good is nothing other than cleaving to Hashem. And this is what it says, David HaMelech, Ani kirvat elokim litov, closest to Hashem is my perfection. And he says, the one thing I ask of, of Hashem, shift vivit Hashem, koye hayai. I wish to sit in the house of Hashem all the days of my life. Ki rak because this is the ultimate good. Because we spoke about how everything that's physical is fleeting, it's not lasting, and it's not going to be for, stick with you for Olam Abba. So therefore the true good and the true lasting uh, benefit uh, that a person can give to himself is the mitzvot and working hard to work on himself to become a better person through the mitzvot and ultimately uh, reach perfection to the, in, in the Olam Abba. And he says that this is uh, what the Kubalim explained to us, that Hashem wants us to earn our Olam Abba and not have Nahama de Kisufa. What's Nahama de Kisufa? Nahama de Kisufa is a poor man's bread. A person who receives something that he didn't work for, he does not really enjoy from it. So therefore, a person a lot of times can feel entitled. He says, no, I know you have. Give me. Why don't you want to give me? Buy for me. Set up a business for me. Give me, you know, the whole new money, old money discussion. Over there, says the, says the, the Atumunot, says the Derech Hashem, says the Ramchal, a person has to know that you only really enjoy and you only really benefit from things that you earn, things that you work hard for, then you really enjoy. That's why the Pasuk says in the Shir, in the Shir Ma'alot, right, in Te'inim, the, uh, the, the, what's it called, the, the, the Bedim Ayiz Re'u Berinai Ketzor, right? The Pasuk says that in, in, in tears they plant, and through joy they will reap. So therefore a person has to know that first it comes through the hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. And only then you will enjoy in the end. Because if you get a handout, and if you get a, you feel entitled, and you, you think you deserve, and you get you just give me, give me, give me. In the end, even when you have, it's not going to be really make you happy. So you can have everything, but you can have nothing at the same time. So therefore he says that Hashem knows this, and that's why He made us work hard with the mitzvot, in order to really appreciate Olam Abba. And He says that Hashem knows, that He put us in a place where we're like in a battle. A person has to know that Hashem put so many tests for us. He put us uh, the test of wealth and the test of uh, desires and the test of uh, being distracted with so many things. And uh, you could get carried away with work. You get carried away with your hobbies. You could get away with so many different things in the world. And it's the most intense battle of our lives to go and fight our Yetzirah, to go and do the mitzvot. And a person has to be strong and he has to remember al maba. And he says that once you do this, you'll be, the, you'll reach the ultimate joy and rejoice in, in Olam Abba. And if you realize that not just that, the entire world, what was it created for? What was the whole purpose of everything in the, everything in the universe? What was the whole purpose of this entire creation Hashem made? It was for man. It was for Adam. And then what did he want from Adam? To fix this world, to uplift this world. Imagine you have the biggest stage in the entire world. And all you have to do is, right now you're going to have the Super Bowl, right? <clears throat> all eyes are on that stage. Everybody is watching what's going to happen. And they want their team to perform. They paid thousands of dollars to fly there. Thousands of dollars for the seats. Thousands of dollars for the food. Thousands of dollars in the bedding they put. They're watching and they're spending their hours of their time waiting for their team to be successful. Waiting for to see a good outcome. Can you imagine how much a Kadosh Baruch Hu feels? Can you imagine how he feels? He set up this entire universe. The thousands of years that it exists. The many generations that there was of tzaddikim, all for to bring Mashiach, how for to finally reach the hopefully the as the whole tikkun and the hope. All the people who passed away are looking at us in our generation. Are you going to do the tikkun? Are you going to pass your test? Are you going to be distracted? Are you going to fall to the, the desires? Are you going to prevail? Are you going to do mitzvot? Are you going to be the perfected version of yourself? A person has to realize that this is a tremendous, tremendous amount of pressure, but at the same time, it's a tremendous, tremendous amount of success and tremendous, tremendous ability to accomplish something great. You know, there was a, I read a story, there was a rabbi, he, he, he came to speak in the halftime of the Super Bowl, somebody's house, they're watching the Super Bowl. So, uh, so he saw everybody was, uh, he liked the shear, they, he gave a shear during halftime, afterwards he didn't leave. He started, the second half started, he was staying. And they were saying, oh rabbi, enjoy us. So he goes and he sits, and he's, he's sitting there and he's like, whatever, looking, whatever, watching. And then afterwards, it was like two minutes left. It was getting very intense. And everybody was going back and forth. Go, 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 go. Screaming. And they were all on top of the, you know, probably have thousands of dollars on the line. And they were all dream, jumping, screaming at the screen, uh, at the TV. He goes in front of them, turns off the TV. He says, when's the last time you were excited like this for a mitzvah? 
When's the last time you were excited like this to see your son go to school, to yeshiva? When's the last time you were excited for something else related to Hashem? Were you that very excited? And if not, so you should go check yourself. You should go think about it. And he went and he left. So a person has to realize that we get excited for things in this world. Hashem, all the people who passed away, then all the tzaddikim, they're all excited for us, telling us, looking at us, watching us, go, 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 uplift the world, reach, make it reach its final tikkun, bring Mashiach. So therefore a person has to realize you can uplift the entire world or you could bring the whole world down. It's all in our hands and a person has to realize that we have to deliver, we have to perform today is to do the work and tomorrow is to reap the reward.